Hello Dear Odoers and welcome back. In this video we'll be exploring how to set up cash discounts in our database. A cash discount is an incentive for our customers to pay early and in return get a small discount. But as the tax implications of cash discounts change from country to country, it's important to be careful when configuring them. Fortunately, some localizations come pre-configured and regardless of our localization, Odoo always states all of the cash discount information clearly on the invoice. Let's take a look at it in Odoo. First thing we'll do is go into the accounting app and into our settings under the configuration menu. Here we can search for a cash and find the default accounts for cash discount gains and cash discount losses. This is where we can choose which accounts will hold the balances related to all of our cash discounts. Next, we'll go to our payment terms, also under the configuration menu. And we'll open the 27 net 30 payment term. So the name of this payment term indicates that we offer a 2% discount if it's paid within seven days. Otherwise, the net or full amount is due within 30 days. As we can see, this checkbox allows us to apply a cash discount for early payment and to set the percentage of that discount and the time limit as well for receiving the payment in order to receive that discount. We can see in the preview section an example of how much would be due for a 1,000 euro invoice that even includes the details of our cash discount, and we can also include a written description of the payment term to make sure that everything is clear. Now, depending on the country or region that a business is in, the base amount used to compute the tax can vary, which can lead to a tax reduction. Since tax reductions are set on individual payment terms here, each term can use a specific tax reduction. So if we click on this reduce tax field, we can see our options are never. So in this example, the tax would always be applied on the full 1,000 euro base or always. So in this example, the tax would always be applied on the 980 euro base or on early payment. So in this example, the tax would be applied on either the 1,000 euro or 980 euro, depending on if the customer made the early payment. And no matter which one we select, the tax grids will always be correctly calculated according to our localization. Let's take a look now at a cash discount in action. First, we'll create a new invoice. And we'll say that our friends at Acres Lawn Care want a big order of our garden gnomes. And who can blame them? They are fantastic. So we will add 100 garden gnomes to this order and we'll set our payment terms to be the 27 net 30 that we were just looking at. We can see our total for 6,050 euros and we can go ahead and confirm this invoice. Will the customer be able to see the discounted amount on the, on the invoice? Of course. So if we click on the preview button, We'll be able to see that the payment terms are clearly explained here, that if our customer pays within seven days before the 16th, then they can pay the discounted amount of 5,929 euros. And if we go back to the edit mode and we click on register payment, we'll see this banner telling us that the early payment discount was applied. Since we're registering the payment within seven days, Odoo automatically assumes that the payment is for the discounted amount here. Of course, if the payment was for a different amount, we can always adjust that, but by default, Odoo shows us this payment difference and suggests that we mark the invoice as fully paid to honor our payment terms, which we'll go ahead and do. To take a look at the payment, we can click on the information icon here and go to view the payment and then use the smart button to get to the actual journal entry 
And here we can see the individual journal items, including the receipt of the actual payment amount, the account receivable for the full 6,050 euros, the taxes, and one labeled early payment discount that goes to our financial discounts allowed account. And of course, since we're in the Belgian localization, we have all of our tax grids completed on the appropriate journal items, so all of our taxes are calculated correctly. And just like that, we've collected our customer's discounted payment for this invoice and recorded all the tax implications without a problem. That's all for this video. Be sure to check out our other video on payment terms for more general information on how to configure those. This has been your pal Dal. I'll see you in the next one.